Peace to everybody back with another video. This is justice for Pac. Tupac murder cops have enough evidence to solve case and even make arrests but refuse to. Filmmaker claims and of course this article is from January 13th 2020 and as you can see here in the video is Tupac and I do believe this is the filmmaker himself. I don't know. Now everybody was snitching on everybody. I don't know. One per Keefe D say this person did it. Then Orlando Anderson saying this person did it. You can't even get the truth of who really did what. Allegedly. So, I mean, come on. Really? Who, who's, who was allegedly supposed to kill Tupac and Suge Knight? I mean, you can't get no answers out of nothing. And, of course, the LAPD, they were covering everything up by lying on the police reports. They know nothing happened. Da, 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 da. You don't know what to believe anymore. I really don't know what to believe anymore. Cops investigating the murder of rapper Tupac Shakur have enough evidence to close the case and even make an arrest. But refused to an investigative filmmaker has claimed. All right, so the cops are allegedly supposed to be investigating the murder of rapper Tupac Shakur. And allegedly, they're supposed to have enough evidence to close the case. But what evidence do they have? I mean, what, guns, bullets, and whatever else? Oh, Suge Knight's car? I mean, you never know what to believe anymore. Um, but also refused to an investigative filmmaker has claimed, and this is what he is claiming. Mike Dorsey says he has met with detectives to pass on his entire research, including an eyewitness statement that Tupac was gunned down by a Compton gang member, Orlando Anderson, who is now dead. All right, so we've got a guy named Mike Dorsey. Um, he's saying he has met with detectives to pass on his entire research. That includes the eyewitness statements that Tupac was gunned down by a Compton gang member, Orlando Anderson. Well, right now, Orlando Anderson is no longer living because he's now deceased. So who's left? Keefe D? And there's some other people right along with them. And, of course, we know Suge Knight is currently in prison for allegedly killing somebody with his car while his friend walked away or ran for his life. So this way he wouldn't get run over by the car. And, of course, here's the picture of Tupac himself. Tupac was killed in 1996 in Las Vegas, allegedly. So, like I said, we don't know what to believe anymore. So, I mean, I don't know. People are saying there's double of Tupac. Some are saying that he's in he's over in this country or that country. And it's like, wait, what? You, it confuses everybody. While the 1996 murder case remains open, Dorsey says... It is finally time for justice for Tupac and is urging Las Vegas police to finally kill 23 years of conspiracy theories and speculation about Tupac being alive. All right, so this, so the, the murder allegedly happened in 1996. All right, the, the case remains open, but Dorsey says it is finally time to for justice for Tupac and is urging Las Vegas police to finally kill 23 years of conspiracy theories and speculation about Tupac being alive. So now Dorsey wants this case closed and he's calling and he's called upon the Las Vegas police to finally kill all these conspiracy theories and speculation about Tupac being alive. Dorsey, who worked on shows Unsolved, The Murders of Tupac, and The Notorious B.I.G. and Murder Rap, told Sun Online, Tupac is dead. Let's get that straight. All right, so 
Dorsey had worked on shows like Unsolved, The Murders of Tupac and the Notorious B.I.G., and he was also gunned down six months after Tupac was allegedly killed. And also, he was on a show called Murder Rap. He told Son Online, Tupac is dead, let's get that straight. All right, so now all these conspiracy theories and speculation about Tupac being alive, and now they're saying now he is saying that Tupac is dead. Let's get that straight. So now they want to. Now Dorsey is saying that Tupac is is no longer alive. All the conspiracy theories are wrong. And this ongoing conjure can simply be ended by the Las Vegas Metro Police finally acknowledging all the evidence that is there. All right, so allegedly the Las Vegas Police, they had all the evidence. But where did all the evidence go after that? It went somewhere because you never know because the police were covering it up. Obviously, they were also lying on the police report as well. They also covered up the murder by lying on the police report, saying, oh, well, th this happened, this didn't happen, this didn't happen. I mean, come on, I don't know. People wake up, because you never know what is really going on these days. Contrary to popular belief, we know exactly who killed Tupac, and so does the Metro Police. All right, so, well, okay, now the Metro Police do know who did it, allegedly. But why aren't they saying anything about it? Why can't they be allowed to say anything? Because they were paid lots of money to keep their mouth shut. But Dorsey says that despite repeated attempts, detectives working the investigation refused to head his pleas to close the case. So, yes, yeah, so Dorsey is saying that despite repeated attempts, um, detectives working the investigation um, refused to head his pleas to close the case. So they're refusing to close the case now, but it should have been closed a long time ago. But no, it, it was still open and it had to stay open. And of course, here's Tupac himself. As you can see, he has the gold chain around his neck. I don't know who he's with. I guess his friends or whoever. And of course, down here it says, Many conspiracy theories over the years have suggested Tupac is alive and he faked his own death. So we don't know if it's true or not because nobody knows for sure what really happened with Tupac Shakur. We don't know if he faked his own death or not. Nobody knows for sure what happened. I mean, there was a witness, but that witness took off before the police could get a hold of that witness because the witness filmed the whole thing on the cell phone. So who... Who's telling the truth and who's not? We don't know. And of course, here's Mike Dorsey himself, the um, the filmmaker. And of course, Mike Dorsey is urging Las Vegas police to close the Tupac case and let him rest in peace. And you know what? I agree. I mean, they should close the case. And I know that it should have been closed years ago. But obviously they left, they want to keep it open, find all the evidence they can. And of course, there was um, Mr. Kading, who was investigating the Tupac and, and um, Biggie Smalls murder. He was investigating them. But then he retired because the LAPD told him, well, you got you to gotta leave. So he retired. And the LAPD, they've been covering up this mess for years as well. He added, we have exchanged about 100 emails about the case. They probably won't be happy with me going public, but it's been 18 months and the case is still unresolved. 
So I feel like I have no choice. So this is what he was adding. He said they were they were emailing each other about a hundred emails about the case. They were exchanging it. Um, they probably won't be happy with me going public. Well, I I, I mean seriously, we don't know what is going on. I mean, who knows who's. You never know if the Las Vegas police are telling the truth or not. But then again, you know, all the police lie because they like to cry wolf to protect themselves and about this and that. So, and he also he said that it's been 18 months. But like I said, this article is from January of this year. So, I mean, 18 months has already been passed. So, who knows? This is bigger than any of us. Maybe I want justice for Tupac more than Ellie, LVMPD does. I hope not. It shouldn't be that way. Yeah, of course, yeah, of course Mike Dorsey saying that he wants justice. Maybe he wants justice for Tupac more than the Las Vegas Metro Police Department does. He don't. He hope and he hopes. Of course, Mike Dice Dorsey says I hope not. It shouldn't be that way. Las Vegas Metro PD simply needs to announce that the case is closed. They can make an arrest or they can label it cleared. Other meaning they know who's responsible, but prosecution pro isn't possible. Because, I don't know. But, um, yeah, he's saying that the police need to announce that the case is closed. They can make an arrest or they can label it as cleared other meaning they know who's responsible, but prosection isn't possible. So either you arrest somebody or you just label it to that other thing. In this case, they could say it's because the shooter is dead. Anderson was fatally shot during a gang shootout in Compton in 1998, and you can't prosecute a dead man. That's true. You can't prosecute a dead man. I agree on that part. You can't. So he was, so Orlando Anderson was shot two years later after the 1996 um, murder, allegedly, of Tupac Shakur. And, of course, Anderson was fatally shot during a gang shootout in Compton. So that's where he was shot at, in Compton, California. But to continue to pretend that they don't know what happened when they clearly do know is crazy. It's almost Orwellian in the level of denial of reality by a government agency. So, yeah, so, you know, the police, they just pretended they didn't know who did it. People are snitching on everybody, like I said. And, you know, I mean, and, of course, KPD, he had to interview with the police department saying, oh, Orlando Anderson did it. He snitched out his own nephew. Mm -hmm. Then Orlando Anderson is saying, oh, whatever other person he said, all oh, that person did it, snitched him out. So everybody was writing everybody out. And of course, denial by a government agency, this is what, but to continue to pretend that they don't know what happened when they clearly do know is crazy. And of course the police do know. They just don't want to spill the beans because money talks. I don't think they'll do anything without a major public outcry over it. Yeah, so they, they're not going to do anything. And, of course, here's Orlando Baby Lane Anderson. Um, allegedly, he had shot Tupac to death, according to his uncle, Keefe D. So, according to his uncle, Keefe D, he's saying that um, Orlando Anderson had done it. So, we don't know if it's true or not, because there's... There's just too much confusion right now of everything. Dorsey, who has spent six years investigating the Tupac case and meeting key players during his life and death, revealed that Orlando killed Tupac because of the disrespect showed to him after the rapper punched him at a Sin City mm -hmm. 
a casino. So, so Tupac punched him at a casino, at a Sin City casino, that is. But this happened after the Mike Tyson fight that Tupac was was going to see. And, of course, Dorsey, he spent six years investigating the Tupac case and meeting key players during his life. So who are the key players? You got Keefe D. You got Keefe D. There are other people involved as well. And where is the witness? Nowhere around because the witness took off, split out of California to who knows where. And only the witness knows what happened because the witness filmed everything on a cell phone. So who knows where that witness is? Orlando was said to be li livid after the gang fight at MGM Casino and then went with pals, including his uncle, Dwayne Keith Keefe D. Davis, to track down the star later in the night on the Las Vegas Strip in a white Cadillac, unleashing a hail of bullets into the rapper's SUV, which was driven by Suge Knight. Yes, Shug Knight was driving an SUV. Um, Keefe D and his people, they were in a white Cadillac. Um, uh, unleashing a hail of bullets into the rapper's SUV. Now, I don't know, people are saying, oh, he didn't get shot in the hand. But some people say he did. But you never know what is going on. And, of course, Tupac allegedly had bullets in him i i don't know was i mean like i said this is confusing so i don't know what to believe but the only thing i do believe is that he is deceased that's all i know when i first heard about it in 1996 so i, I don't know in one confession on the documentary murder rap he says we just swung a u-turn they was in the middle lane, and we pulled up in the middle lane and checked every car to see where they was. I thought he was going to pull up on my side. So, yes, yeah, so, uh, yes, I, there, the documentary, I don't know, there's all different versions of it right now about Tupac Shakur. Um... Of course, Dorsey is saying in one confession on the documentary, Murder Raps, he says, we just swung a U-turn. They was in the middle lane, and we pulled up in the middle lane and checked every car to see where they was. Oh, was they so... All right, so Tupac and Suge Knight, they were at the light. On the left of them, there was a car full of ladies. They pulled up on them. So they just... I, I guess it was just partying or whatever it was they was doing. On the right, there was a white Cadillac with KPD, Orlando, Anderson, and whoever the other two people are. They pulled up. I guess KPD said he couldn't do it, so Orlando Anderson told his uncle, give him the gun, allegedly. And that's when he started shooting at the SUV that Tupac and Suge Knight were in. Now, the car, the SUV was riddled with bullets, yes. Windows were shot and everything else. You know, that's my little nephew. I want to look out for him. And he, Tupac, pulled on his side. If he would have been on my side, I would have blast. So... So now just saying that that's my little nephew. And of course, yes, Orlando Anderson and Kiffy D are related, were related in real life. Um, and of course, um, Kiffy D saying, you know, that's my little nephew. Want to look out for him. And he, Tup meaning Tupac, pulled on his side. And he also said if he would have been on my side, I would have blast. So, Keefe D is saying if Tupac and Suge Knight had pulled up on his side of the car or whatever, that Keefe D would have shot him. And 
you know, Kippy D, I don't know, he's, I don't know, he's all over the place with knowing who, whatever stories he's telling. And of course, here's Kippy D himself. Dwayne Keefe Davis has admitted to his role in the murder several times. So that's what he confessed. And th that's when he um, snitched on his um, nephew, Orlando Anderson. He then tells how he passed the gun to his friend, DeAndre Dre Smith, who refused to take it. So he gave to his nephew Orlando, nicknamed Baby Lane, who popped the dudes. Yes, yeah, so you got DeAndre Dre Smith. He refused to take the gun. He didn't want no part of it. So he was clear of that. So he gave the gun allegedly to his nephew Orlando. Of course, his nickname was Baby Lane, um, who popped the dudes. Dorsey has passed on five confessions from Keefe D about his role in the killing, and he insists that Suge Knight was not part of the assassination, despite years of rumors. All right, so Suge Knight allegedly was not part of the assassination, despite years of rumors. All right, so there was a lot of rumors saying that Suge Knight did it, and there was a lot of rumors saying Puffy did it. Come on, really? Puffy D, Puffy Combs? Come on. No way, cause, cause with Puffy Combs and Notorious B.I.G., they were up in the studio, uh, working on the record or on an album, and and of course you know Puffy D, uh, Puffy Combs is not in the middle of anything, so this is why everybody was blaming Suge Knight, and of course Suge Knight probably didn't have no part of the assassination. Who knows? The, docu the documentary maker reveals that Vegas homicide cops even met him in L.A. so that he could present all his gathered evidence 18 months ago, but he has heard nothing since. All right, so Dorsey had met with the Las Vegas homicide cops in L.A., um, he presented all his gathered evidence 18 months ago, in other words, two years ago, but he hasn't heard nothing since, so you know what's going to, and you know where the evidence is, lost. They just don't want to pretend this happened or anything, so this is why they lost the evidence on purpose, to, to not say anything about it. Dorsey gathered a comprehensive evidence file while working alongside with ex-LAPD homicide detective Greg Kading, who led a three-year federal task force into the murders of rappers Tupac and Biggie. And so Greg Kading, he was an LAPD homicide detective for three years. He was searching for evidence of who killed Tupac and Biggie, allegedly. And, of course, Dorsey was working alongside with him. So, now the LAPD, they're saying, well, you, we're taking you off the case. So, they did. So, uh, Greg Kading left left he retired so he was no longer the homicide detective anymore because the LAPD they want to pretend this didn't happen and they knew what was happening they just decided oh we're going to hide this we're going to sweep it under the rug and, and of course they did that just that swept it under the rug the pair believed that all testimony and gathered intel points to gang member Orlando Anderson being the shooter of Tupac on September 7, 1996. Yeah, so all the evidence were pointing at Orlando Anderson being the shooter on September 7, 1996. So that's when Tupac Shakur had um, been shot, allegedly. 
And of course, here's Tupac and Suge Knight himself, who is currently in jail for running a guy over with his car while um, his friend um, scrambled way before Suge Knight decided to run him over. Now, underneath this picture says Dwayne Keith KBD Davis says he witnessed the shooting. So KBD is saying that he witnessed the shooting. Well, uh, duh, he was with his nephew in the in a white Cadillac. Uh, hello, wake up. Who else would be there? And of course, here's another picture. This is the spot where Tupac was shot dead. So of course, you can see the car, see the corner where the where Tupac and um Suge Knight were pulled up at. And of course, I mean, this is a different kind of picture for it. Right? So this is not the actual picture for it. So, but at this corner. That's where Keefe D, I mean, Keefe D and his people were at, Tupac and Suge Knight, and of course the ladies that were partying, they were at, but they had nothing to do with it. So the ladies are out of the question. So you could exclude the ladies. It was only about Tupac and Keefe D and his gang, and his gang members. That was it. Orlando's Uncle Keefe has given multiple public statements claiming it was their crew that did this and that the uncle was an eyewitness, he said. So, yes, yeah, so the uncle was was allegedly the eyewitness. Um, Keefe has given multiple public statements. So, in other words, I bet you Keefe D was changing his stories every minute until you... <laughs> somewhat get the real story who knows um but the statements claiming it was their crew that did this and that the uncle was an eyewitness he said but there was another witness too at this corner but not where the cars are but where the uh, this other street is now there was a witness there too that was filming all this on a cell phone but where like like i asked where is that witness did the witness take off to another state did the witness not want to be bothered with anybody who knows Katie first detailed his crew's involvement in tupac's murder about a decade ago as part of a proffer session with law enforcement in Los Angeles. That meant that anything he said during that session couldn't be used against him in court like, hell I can't, because they could use a lot of stuff against people. And this is how crooked the court system is. They take statements, they will use it against them, and it doesn't matter who it is or what it or not. It doesn't matter if you're a celebrity or not. They could use a whole lot of stuff against you because the police department out in, Las Bay, out in Los Angeles are crooked as hell. And they don't care about nothing except throw to sweep everything under the rug and say, oh, well, we, we don't know nothing when they do know something. It's a very limited deal. It only applies to what he said during that session and does not apply to anything he says about it later. So now it's supposed it was supposed to be a limited deal. Okay. And it only applies to what he said during that session and does not apply to anything he says about it later. Well, well if it don't apply, then why make it all these confessions? Because Orlando was the one who allegedly shot Tupac. Because his uncle, KPD, gave him the gun, allegedly. In that session, he claims that his nephew, Orlando, was the trigger man. 
who shot Tupac and that Keefe himself was present in the car with Anderson when it happened. Well, of course he was present because that's his nephew. Hello? Did we not get through all this already that Keefe D and Orlando Anderson are uncle and nephew? They're re they were related. And of course, it also says in that session, he claimed that his nephew Orlando was the trigger man. So, Keefe D knew that his nephew Orlando was the trigger man who shot Tupac. Later, Keefe, he did an interview for a documentary series called Death Row Chronicles on BET, where he told the basics of the story of Tupac's murder again. So, he was on... There was a documentary series called Death Row Chronicles, and yes, I have seen it. And it was on BET, and um, and he says where he told the basics of the story of Tupac's murder again. So he told the story again of what happened, allegedly. Greg and I were consultants on Death Row Chronicles, and as soon as it aired in early 8, 2018 i contacted las vegas metro police homicide to see if they watched it so greg dorsey and keefe d they were consultants on death row chronicles it's a documentary of course and as soon as it aired in early 2018 i don't know if it was keefe d or greg dorsey contacted the Las Vegas Metro Police Homicide to see if they watched it. So they wanted, so one of them wanted to know if they seen the documentary. And of course, here is Suge Knight himself. And trust me, nobody likes this man whatsoever. <laughs> Especially, we know he's, he, he, I don't know, he, he's got too many issues that he had too many issues, I mean, with the death row records. That, of course, you know, everybody's blaming him for shooting Tupac. And, I mean, all the rumors were all over the place. But underneath it says, Marion Suge Knight was not responsible for Tupac's murder, despite rumors, according to Dorsey. So this was according to him that Suge Knight was not responsible for Tupac's murder. So, because Suge Knight was behind the wheel of the SUV. And Tupac was in the passenger side of the car on the right. That led to the lead detective currently overseeing the case there to come to my home in Los Angeles to interview me in the summer of 2018. So the interview was took place in 2018. It was summertime that time that day, that year. Um that led to the lead detective currently overseeing the case. So the detective oversaw the case and there to come to my home in Los, Los Angeles to interview me in the summer of 2018. According to Greg, nothing Keefe said in that BET interview nor any other new statement he makes are protected by the terms of his proffer agreement from a decade ago. So, yes, yeah, so anything that Keefe said in that BET interview, nor any other new statements he makes, are protected by the terms of his proffer agreement from a decade ago. So that's, so that statements are protected either way. In my opinion, it seems to me that Keefe could be arrested based on some of the more recent public statements he's made. So Keefe D had made a whole bunch of statements about, and he confessed everything. But according to Dorsey, he says, in my opinion, it seems to me that Keefe could be arrested based on some of the more recent public statements he made so who knows how many public statements he gave he must have gave at least about a hundred statements 200 statements you never know 
They can't say based on statements made by an alleged eyewitness. They consider the case officially closed. The alleged shooter is long dead and the case is cleared. So yes, so Orlando Anderson is deceased two years after Tupac murdered and six months later it was Notorious B.I.G. Then the following year it was Orlando Anderson. So and of course they have I, I guess they have no choice but to close this case but they could say that Keefe D could be arrested based on some of the more recent public statements. So who knows if they'll arrest him or not. Also, it goes on to say they can say based on statements made by an alleged eyewitness. So Keefe D was the alleged witness because he saw what happened. He was the witness. So this is why he gave the alleged gun to Keefe D, I mean not Keefe D, Orlando Anderson, his nephew, and his nephew, Orlando, shot up the SUV that Tupac and Shug Knight were in. Dorsey is also adamant that Shug Knight, the former CEO of Death Row Records, was not involved in Tupac's death, despite rumors he was. All right, yeah, of course, like I said, Suge Knight had no part of it. Um, of course, Suge Knight used to be a CEO of Death Row Records, but now that he lost Death Row Records because Toys R Us had bought Death Row Records. I don't know why, but they did. Um, and of course, he was not involved in Tupac's dis death despite rumors he was. And of course, there was rumors saying that Tupac or Suge Knight did, did this to Tupac and blah, blah, blah. And no, it, he was not involved in the murder. So this is why they're all pointing fingers at Orlando Anderson for shooting Tupac allegedly. So you never know what to believe because this story, I mean, this story is all mixed up. You don't know what's the truth, what's a lie and everything else. So it, it, it is confusing of what what really happened to Tupac Shakur. So we don't, like I said, we don't know what to believe. Shook was not involved, and to set that up would have put his own life at risk. People forget he was shot too. Yeah, of course. Shook Knight was not involved, and to set that up would have put his own life at risk. But people are forgetting that he was shot too. So, not, so, yeah. Dorsey Produces Dearly Departed podcast, has several crime documentaries, and a scripted series in development, and mm -hmm. is in the middle of writing his first crime novel. So Dorsey does have a podcast. He produces Dearly Departed mm -hmm. podcast, and it has several crime documentaries and a scripted series in development. So he's going to be writing his first crime novel. So, and who knows when that will come out because I guess he's still working on the novel or something. The detective in charge of the murder probe told Sun Online he could not comment on going investigations. So of course he can't because, you know, I mean, all these statements, this and that. Yeah, he, of course he couldn't go on, comment on, on ongoing investigations because it was ongoing. Las Vegas Police Department did not respond to requests for comment. And, of course, you know they won't because they're going to deny everything. They're going to lie and say, oh, well, this didn't happen, blah, blah, blah. They, and they just swept it under the rug as usual because this is how... The police departments are because they're crooked as heck and you can't really get anything out of them you can't get the truth out of anything all you want they only 
They only tell you what you want to hear, and that is it. They're never going to spill the truth about anything, so who knows what is really going on. Leave your comments below. I am out.